up? Chris Lyles with South Carolina Gun School. We're out here at Train and Learn 2023. I'm here with Ken Ross from hey, Primary Chris. Arms. How's it going, man? Good, man, good. Uh, I see we've got a nice selection of toys out here to be able to play with, but I kind of wanted to talk about some of your products and stuff. All right. All right. Uh, I know you've y'all got low variable, y'all got red dots, y'all yes, sell other red dots. Yes. Uh, well, we've got our own line of red dots and our classic series. We've got our RS10, uh, which is new for us as well. It is a um, uh, Dr. Noblex footprint. It's got a 3MOA dot in it. It's very rugged. It's right here on this firearm, which has a chamber flag in it. Very rugged, very uh, uh, utilitarian. You can throw this thing around. It's going to perform. One of the unique things about it is you don't, do not have to take this optic off to load a new battery in it. So awesome. On your birthday, when you change out the battery, you don't have to go out and re-zero on that same right, battery. Just right, if you're having right. a party, you know, that birthday party, you have to go to, you're not out on the range, even though you want one of them. Right. Yes, that's a, that's a great, great feature uh, because I know a lot of them out there, you got to take them off, change the battery, go out, re-zero, and it can get a little frustrating. So I think that's a great feature all the way around that a lot of companies I see are doing now with the red dots for handguns and stuff. And which red dot is it called? This, uh, this is our latest red dot. It is a Delta Point Pro footprint. It is our RS-15 uh, if you look at it, it's got a narrower bezel around the op, uh, around the outside, right. more of a competition type optic because it's got a larger window. Larger, so yes, on, that's yeah, what I like when I was looking through it yesterday. Yes, sir. And inside of this one, it comes in two reticles. We've got our 3MOA dot, and we're also coming out with our Vulcan reticle, which is a 3MOA dot and a 250 MOA circle around the outside. You ask the question, well, what is a 250 MOA circle going to do for me? Well, if you hold it at the proper distance when you're uh, shooting naturally, that circle disappears when you're on target and all you see is a 3 MOA dot. But let's say you're off target in any way. It helps guide you back into the center. Right. Right. So everybody knows what's in uh, what's in the center of the circle. It's the 3 MOA dot. So if you see that circle, you go, I need to go back to the center. There's that dot. That, that's an awesome feature because I know when I first started with red dots, it was just the dot. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Yeah. I'm out here like, where did this thing go? All right, I found it. And you shoot, and then it's like, oh, crap. And that was why I moved into a house gun because it had the circle in the back. Yep, that and is. it kind of helped me, but this is even better. Yeah. Better, and that's, that's what I try to tell people when they start getting into red dots is there is going to be a learning curve, but having things like that on there yeah. is going to help speed up that learning curve process. So Absolutely. That is awesome. And it's not only for that uh, learning curve, but for the beginning dot user, but let's say you're an advanced red, red dot shooter, you're out on the range every weekend shooting, but when you get into that tense situation, that competition or whatever the situation exactly. might be, you run into a barricade, you know, whatever it might be, you are thrown off for a second and the dot is what you think is going This helps bring you back on it. Exactly, because it you, once you get into the stage, that adrenaline starts going just like any other situation. And, you know, sometimes that the mind starts to have brain farts a little bit and being able to have that. So, yes, so a great point on that as well, too. Um, with the low variable here, um, yep, I noticed one right here. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. And it's got the ACSS system. Yes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, advanced. Combined siding system. Am yes, I sir. On yes, that? sir. You got it. I, I, I did my. I've done oh, my yes, you have. Yes, I've been, you I've been have. checking y'all out. Uh, yes, I've been you checking have. Out. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Yeah, the ACSS is uh, exclusive to Primary Arms. Uh, you yeah, know, you won't find it in any other thing except Hollow Sun, who we license it to uh, for their pistol dot. But it is. Uh, if you look across our reticle our lineup, we've got hundreds of ACSS reticles. I'm sure you're going to find one that's right for you in an optic press right for you. Because something y'all were talking about, you kind of have like a beginner line all the way up to an advanced line. Am I correct on that? Yeah, well, we've got what we like to do is uh, start out as a new system. Yeah, your initial reaction is I'm going to run to a, a, a box, a big box store, and I'm going to grab a 
grab something off the shelf. We don't want you to do that. We want you to come in. We want you to grab something quality, something that's going to last, something that's going to be there years after you. Ate. So you can start out with us in our classic lineup. You can move up to our SLX line. We've got our GLX line, and then we've got our PLX line as well, which is our uh, premier tier. Exactly. Yes, yes sir. Awesome. Yeah. And in that line, as we're talking about it, this is our flagship optic right now. This is our uh, PLX 1 to 8. For $1,500, you get Japanese glass, aluminum housing, two turrets come with it, and primary iron glass. You get all of that. You get all of that glass. And yes, I've got a one in six on mine right now, and I can tell you it's way longer than what that is. When you picked up said one and eight, I was like, Wait yeah. a minute! Did he pick up the rifle? Yeah, no. This is this is this is a quality optic. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and when you get a chance to pick one up, either in a, a local dealership or you find you come see us in an event like the NOC Train and Learn 2023, uh, you get a chance to pick this up. You see how light it is. Awesome, awesome. This this is a great company right here. They're doing great, great things. They've got great, great optics. And I've had people ask about low. They were like, "Why go low power?" And I'm like. For me, it was like, do I want the red dot and the magnifier, or do I want to just be able to put it all in one? Yeah. And well, that's that to me. That's what you're getting is you're getting that all in one without having a lot of the, without weighting a lot the gun down with all the other stuff. Yeah. And yeah. when people use them, it's like, oh man, this is crazy because I tell them it's like I'm like it's no different than looking through a red dot, yeah. and then I roll it over and it's like, oh wow, this is so. Yes, I, I love these products. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of research, been checking y'all guys out. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Now, my next question is maybe moving a little bit about this event. Okay. All right. I think we, I know we've had products here before, but this is the first time y'all come out well, actually to the event, correct? We've, we've supported the event from right. the beginning, you know, uh, but we haven't had the opportunity to be out here in person. Uh, Kevin's been very gracious. Uh, the first year was a COVID year. The second year, we had another event right on top of it, and we couldn't make it out, but we always supported the event. And this time, we were able to get out here and spend time on the range, spend time with people as you, like yourself. And it's been an amazing event. You know, the, the quality of uh, participants, the quality of sponsors, uh, Kevin is putting on an amazing event, and I can't wait to see what they do next year. Would you say... This is an event not just for instructors. Oh, this is definitely not an event just for instructors. If you're a content creator in any form, if you want to go into marketing in the firearms industry or any industry, uh, Amari Boussard put on a... Uh, an amazing, yes, yes, amazing yes. marketing conversation yesterday talking about email. And if you don't know Amari, look him up because he's fantastic. Uh, and, uh, uh, Zeke Stout came in and talked about marketing from a psychology point of view. Uh, all of these sponsors that are here today are invested in this event. Yes. They, are, they are bringing out their products, they're spending time talking to people. And I guess that's my job too, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I know, it's, and, it's great to have sponsors and companies like y'all to support these type of events because I tell everybody if, if you're in the industry from a manufacturer to a gunsmith to an instructor influencer advocate youtuber whatever it is this is the event you need to be at put you in contact with companies like your company with providing great optics both pistol and rifle being able to come out and actually put hands on it run it see what it's like and everything being able to interact with you has been absolutely great you talking about amari i got a chance to do an interview with him and i sat there and was picking his brain last night around the bonfire so yes i don't know of any that's one thing real quick i don't know of any other event where you're going to come in you're going to be able to be able to work with great companies like this and sit around a bonfire smoke cigars and get fed while you're able to interact even outside of doing stuff like this. So this is greatly, greatly appreciated that, that y'all support this. I hope to continue to see y'all out here and continue to see what great products y'all are going to come out with. And hoping pretty soon I'm going to be able to get one of these on my rifle because I've got a couple I'm working on and be able to really get that experience and stuff. So thank you, thank you very no much. Problem. No much problem. Appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, go oh, ahead. No problem. I just want to say if you're looking for Primary Arms Optics, you can find us at PrimaryArms.com. You can purchase there. You can find us at several local dealers 
dealerships. We're expanding across the country as well. And follow us on social media, all the social media platforms. And I will have their website, all their social media information down in the description below in this video. So you'll be able to know exactly where you need to go and not have to try to figure out, wait, what did he say? I'm going to get that in there because I know we've had some gunfire going on. So that will be there for you. Always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.